Hey friends, welcome back to Law Creations. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how I went about cutting my window that I use on my Mythic Legions display using the Cricut Maker. So this is by no means a tutorial on the Cricut Maker itself. This is just how I went about and uh, achieved that particular window using the Maker and show you the steps uh, that I use. So obviously you're looking at a purple mat. That's, uh, I got some mat board, which is about two millimeter thick. And it's, uh, and it's taped with some painter's tape. So the purple mat is intended for thicker material. So it's a, uh, it's a little stickier. It's, uh, it's intended to cut, like I said, thicker material. And they have different color mats for different materials, depending on what you want to cut. So because I'm using the deep knife blade, which is right there, which is like a small X-Acto knife. So this particular maker has many interchangeable uh, blades, depending on what you want to cut. And we have mat board, which is about two millimeter thick. I believe the Cricut can cut up to three millimeter thick. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, and I'll show you how I did it. So purple mat, mat board, you have to tape it down because of the pressure in which the blade cuts. And that particular blade to the right is a deep knife blade. You, they're interchangeable. And like I said, it's like a small exacto, so it'll it'll cut through this uh, fairly easily. Uh, it'll probably just take uh, several passes. So let's go over to the computer, and I'll show you design space. So the window is just a, a generic uploaded window from Google. So you upload it and then you save it and then you put it into design space. And in this design space, they have different tools that you can use to clean up the picture. And what do I mean by clean up? You can crop it and then you can get rid of the background. So you just left with the window and then you want to get rid of the pieces that you want cut out. So all the white areas in the window will be left behind. So you'll just be left with the framework in the openings of the window. So I'll show you. This will be a two-part video. I'll show you how we start cutting. And then because it'll take maybe an hour, an hour and a half to cut the particular window. And I'm not, obviously not going to show that part. But I'll show you the beginning of how it cuts. And then, uh, so I already sized it to uh, 7 inches. So up here is where you can size it to, uh, I did 7 inches by about almost 3 and a quarter, uh, 3 and a quarter wide. So it'll be a good size window for a good size uh, fantasy piece or castle or, or whatever you want to create. So we're going to go ahead and uh, I'll show you what else we do. I don't think I forgot anything. So we'll go over here to make it. We're going to click on make it. I'm doing this one-handed, so forgive me. We'll click make it. So right here is where it takes you to another screen. And what you're looking at is uh, an identical uh, replica of your mat. So as you know, the mat has measurements as well. And these particular measurements are exactly what you see on this particular screen. So you can line up your... Uh, your window with where you want want it cut so that looks pretty good there and then we'll go ahead over here to continue and we're going to continue we'll click on that and then we're going to check uh we're going to check heavy chipboard and then it asks you to load the correct blade so which is the knife blade so you don't do anything else on this screen you can, in fact, change the pressure on the Cricut, but we're going to leave it at default. And then we're going to come over to the maker. And you can see that flashing. It's just showing that this is ready to uh, be fed. So let's feed, let's feed the mat. So that's what it does. It just feeds the mat and gets it ready. So then you're going to come over here and press the C. And the blade will calibrate. That's what it does. It's just calibrate. And I believe. 
then it should feed the mat and stock cotton. So that's what it does. It'll take a few, uh, maybe hour and a half, two hours, like I showed you or told you. Uh, I just go and do something else and work on another piece or work on the diorama that this particular window will go in. And you can see how the, uh, the blade uh, works and calibrates and everything. And it cuts very nicely. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... You'll get a better look at it when uh, when the when the result is uh, with the final result when everything's cut and finished. And then you go over here and you just see it says one percent cutting one of twenty four passes. It's not going to take twenty four passes, so I'll keeping uh, I'll keep an eye on it and use my own judgment to see when it's uh, when I think it's complete. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, give you a quick rundown about how this particular. Uh, Cricket works and I'm sure I forgot something but that's the gist of it if you have any questions just ask I'll be more than happy to answer you and uh, keep keep having fun creating what you love and and I just wanted to uh, to show you guys this uh, I'll do a part two and show you the uh, finished product okay uh, you guys take care enjoy your night